Hey, I'm Creech. This is Creech and Cars, and today I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the Draco Dragon, an insane 2000 horsepower hyper SUV. I'll go over the exterior and interior design, as well as the performance and features of the Dragon. But first, here's a bit of background. Draco Motors was founded in 2013 by Dean Draco and is based in San Jose, California. In 2019, Draco introduced the GTE, a four-motor sports sedan with a sub 3 second 0 to 60 time and a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. Draco only made 25 GTEs and at the end of 2022, Draco announced its second product. So here it is, the Draco Dragon. It has an aggressive front end with aggressive LED headlights and unique daytime running lights. It also features a grill-like design even though it's fully electric and if you watch my videos, you'll know that I love it when electric cars have some sort of grill design instead of just blank sheet metal. The front end also features air curts and more interestingly, there is a feature that almost acts like a wing on the front end. You might not notice it at first, but it comes out from the headlights and has the Draco logo on it. As we know, aerodynamics are incredibly important with EVs, and even more so with such a high performance one, so this is a feature that likely improves the aerodynamics of the vehicle significantly. Taking a look at the side profile, the Dragon obviously keeps a low roof line, as is necessary for any high performance SUV, and here you can notice that the Dragon is a coupe a real coupe that has just two doors. However, they are quite large and give both front and rear passengers ample room to get in and out of the car. In addition to that, they are also gold wing doors, which definitely helps with selling the Dragon as a hyper SUV. Coming around to the rear, we can see the Dragon has a high back end and a small sloped rear window. There are flying buttresses instead of a traditional wing, and visibility might be an issue, but it does look good. In between the thin taillights, Draco is spelled out and Dragon is written in cursive below that. The wheels match the roof in this gunmetal gray color, and with yellow calipers, it completes a sporty and high-end look. There aren't traditional mirrors on the Dragon, instead it has cameras that display on the dashboard. The body is constructed of a lightweight composite fiber that Draco claims is more sustainable than traditional materials, and it uses a full carbon fiber chassis, the first SUV to do so. Now let's take a look at the interior, which is just as luxurious as it is sporty. The interior, which is shown in the press showcase model, is two-toned with a black dashboard and steering wheel and the top of the door panels is black as well. The rest of the interior is tan or beige. Obviously there are leather seats and high-end materials used throughout the interior. The front seats are constructed from carbon fiber and despite the supercar-esque exterior, the interior is still spacious and offers comfortable seating for five. Back seat passengers also get their own large screens that are attached to the back of the front seats and there's a glass roof that aids in creating the spacious and open feel. The interior also features ambient lighting and the lights look fairly large. Large. In the pictures, the color is orange or amber, but you'd likely be able to customize the color. Taking a closer look at the dash and steering wheel, we can see a large display for the digital gauges and a very large and square 17.1 inch infotainment display. The flat bottom steering wheel uses leather and carbon fiber and has the Draco logo in the center with a few controls on it, including things like these and headlight controls. As you can see, the Draco doesn't have stalks on the steering column, so controls that would normally be on the stalks are instead on the steering wheel wheel or just digital button. One other interesting thing on the interior is the stitch pattern that's found on the door panels and on the seats. It kind of reminds me of the hexagon-like pattern that Lamborghini uses. So it's not super original, but it does seem to add a little extra something to the interior of the Dragon. So that's the design, but what about what's underneath it all? The Dragon uses a quad motor setup and each motor is attached to one wheel and only powers that wheel so there is symmetrical all-wheel drive. Each motor puts out 500 horsepower so in total the Dragon has 2000 horsepower. That amount of power combined with a relatively light curb weight for an EV SUV of 4,970 pounds means the Dragon has some pretty insane acceleration. It does 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds and finishes the quarter mile in 9 seconds flat. But the Dragon isn't a one trick pony as it can reach over 200 miles per hour and has 10 piston calipers in the front, 6 piston calipers in the rear to slow you down around corners. The Dragon also sits pretty low for an SUV. The grand clearance on the lowest setting is 6.4 inches, but that can be raised to a maximum height of 12.4 inches if you go into overland mode. The low center of gravity will help around corners and around the racetrack to give a better time where EVs can usually struggle against their gas powered rivals. The battery is built in-house by Draco, and although Draco hasn't specified how large the battery pack is, they are claiming an impressive range of 420 nice miles, but I would suspect you would have to drive very conservatively to hit that mark. The battery can also be charged at a rate of 500 kilowatts, meaning it can go from 0 to 80% in just 10 minutes. One last thing to cover with the Dragon's performance 
is Draco's Drive OS system. Basically, this is an operating system for the car that uses one multi-core ECU that is responsible for everything with the car. The system uses a real-time USB network that allows for upgrades and expansion later on. Overall, Draco says its Drive OS is lightweight and simple while also being fast and reliable. The Draco Dragon will retail with a base price of $290,000. You can reserve one now with a $500 deposit or you can reserve one of the first 99 models with a $5,000 deposit. Deliveries are expected to begin in 2026. At that price point, the Dragon is a bit more expensive than competition from Lamborghini and Aston Martin, but it is less than the Puro Sangue. Even though it's more than the popular options like the Urus, I think the Dragon can hit its target of 5,000 units per year with its performance advantage, luxurious interior, and unique brand image. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Draco Dragon. Let me know what you think about the Dragon in the comments down below. And if you were looking for a $300,000 supercar, would you spend the money on this or take a more traditional sports coupe instead? Let me know. This video is part of a series on the channel called Startup Showcase, where I take a look at new startup car companies and their models. For more videos like this, check out the Startup Showcase playlist on the channel and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.